Hello and welcome to another coin video and today we are, oh I didn't know, we are talking about key day coins. So this is a Wikipedia article uh, and the key date is a term used in coin collecting. It refers to a date or date and mint mark combination. So as you can see we have a 1909 United States penny. It has a date, has an S mint mark for San Francisco of a given coin series or coin set that is harder to obtain than other dates in the series. Key date coin is usually one lower mint and total and is more valuable than any others in the series. This could also apply to banknotes, a key date banknote in which one of the actual dates so I don't know in Australia probably 1996. Actually no, 2019 five dollar banknotes has a lower print run than uh, 2016. So if that's the lowest out of all of them, then that will be a key date for that banknote. But anyway, uh, so if you go to Numister, you can look up all different catalogs. So we're looking at Tonga here. I oh, know, I just find Tonga coins fascinating. So we have a lot of 20 cent niti coins uh, that they, well, it's a current denomination. The last one is 2015. But if we look at the 1968 to 74 series, Obviously, Tonga population, I think about 100, 150,000 at this time period would have had a, a way lower population. So, here we have two dates of 1968, 35,000, and 1974, 50,000. What will be the key date of that one? Well, there is not a lot of choice. You've only got two coins. The key date will be 1968. And Probably the key coin will be the actual proof coin. No mintage figures, but it should be lower than this coin here. Although that's not always the case. Sometimes they do produce more proof coins than the standard business strikes. Then we have the 1975 to 77. So that's this coin here with a beehive in the center. And this effigy of King Tuafu Ahu. Tupu the fourth, no, yeah, I just call him Tupu the fourth, is the effigy they used up until 2015. So we have three coins 75, 77, 1979. Key date will be 1977, whoops, because he has 25,000 coins. So it's a key date there. Obviously, a lot less people have that coin. So that means all the people who had this coin. Only 17% out of 100 have 1977. But this doesn't add up to 100 because some of them might have two or three coins. Then we have the 81 to 1960, uh, 1996. So current legal tender worth 13 Australian cents. So pretty much all the mintages are similar. So I would say. Based on the frequency, the key date is probably 91, although we don't have any mintage figures. But I would say you can probably get them from the Royal Australian Mint, an annual report from 1991, 92, or probably 1990, 91. Somewhere around that date, maybe I'll look it up. And in 96, you need to go to British. But based on this statistics, I would say 91. Uh, that could be just a fallacy so it might not be a key date in that one so this is where we get this uh, coin seller so they've put a lot of these coins as very scarce low mintage key date so they've used the term key date very scarce blah 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 and i want to pick on a few coins of theirs so the first one we have is a Guatemala, one centavos. We've got low mint key date rare. Well, in coin collecting, a rare coin is basically under 
1500. So if we go to Numister, so that date was 1963. Oh, well, we have 4,178,000. Based on this statistic, 24% of people who have this coin have this date. So it's not a scarce coin. It's not a rare coin. So obviously it's not rare. You can cancel that out. Is it a low mint key date? No, not really. That would be the 1961 would be the key date, but still not a low mint. So obviously that's a deceptive title in that coin. Sale. And then we have, okay, we've got quarter quetzals. So we're looking at four key dates. So this was issued between 1926, 49. And can you see the key date in this one? Yeah, quite obviously it's 1949, only 24,994. Obviously the other ones are low mint, 1946, 47, 48. Uh, but then you got 1926 that has 2 million. So obviously this is the key date, 1949. It should be the most expensive. And apart from the proof, it seems to be the lowest percentage of coins in people's collection of only three percent but this is probably one of the better statistics for seeing how many people have this coin and also a key date some key dates are actually pretty easy to get some common dates are very hard to get depends on the survival rate okay so that is that coin, then we have a 50 centavos and only 1962, 63, the key date would be 1963 and also probably the over date varieties would be the uh, ones that get more value okay, then we have 50 centavos, oh no, I was actually going to look at that okay, then we have the French, 10 francs, 91 Okay, key date, low mint. Let's have a look at how many were produced. 1991. Ooh. So, show you the coin page. So, we've got 10 francs. First issue, 1988. And 1991, 249 million. Now, is that really a low mint? No, because that's like four times the population of France. So that's a very common, common coin and it is the second highest minted 10 franc coin. So that's obviously also deceptive and 19 bucks. No, nah, really, that's only worth, well, when they changed over in 2002, it's worth two Australian dollars. And that's pretty much how much it's worth now. About two Australian dollars, especially in that condition, it's really not a very good condition coin. Uh, it's been circulated quite a lot. Nineteen dollars, no. Nah. You gonna that's you're paying too much for that coin. Okay, then we have the next one. Another French franc, nineteen seventy three. Key date, rare date, low mintage. What did they say? See the description. Yeah, they don't have much else in the description. And let's look at half franc, 973. What's the mintage? Okay, need to show you that they got the right page. Half franc, yeah. Made a nickel. Good metal. Some people would like to hoard that, finger to go to a billion dollars, but nah, it's not going to happen. In 1973, 48 million four hundred fifty-one thousand. Okay, look at the other mintage figures. That seems to be the normal mintage for this coin. Then you've got outliers of 100 million. Uh, but in general, mintage is between 50 and 100 million. Then later on in the 90s, they go up and down like a seesaw. So, 1973. 48 million. Now, is that a key date? No. 
What I meant? No. Uncirculated. Does that look uncirculated? No. That's not uncirculated. It's a bit hard to tell the coin images, but I think there's a lot of damage on the coin. But if you're going to sell a coin for $19, you need better pictures than that. Okay, so key date will be these ones. And these are probably only in sets. So 1979, 50,000. Then, oh, 1990, 15,000. So that's definitely the key date. And then you've got other ones that are... Okay, 3,000, 1993, metal alignment. So that would also be a key date. So anyway, that is basically it for that coin. And yeah, we've got no, another one, no key date, very scarce, 1976. How many were produced of the two drachma? Two drachma, 1976, 92 million, 401,000. So definitely not a key date. Okay, 1982, two drachma. Also, is that uncirculated? Yeah, probably almost uncirculated. Yeah, yeah the, the grade's okay. Okay, low mintage, key date, very scarce. And 82, 64 million. So obviously not a low mint or a key date. Then we have a 1992, 20 drachma. Okay, once again, low mintage, key date, very scarce. And if we go to 20 drachma, I actually quite like this coin. 18 million six hundred forty-three thousand. So not a low mintage, not a key date. And did they have uncirculated for that one? No, nah, scarce. Nah, it's not scarce. Nineteen dollars. You can pick these up for one to two dollars in uncirculated condition. Don't buy this rubbish. And here we have some other prices so to people buying selling them for two dollars. Two yeah, free. That one seems pretty good. And four, two. Uh, have I got sold items? No. If I'm not sold items, yeah, you can see $2. They barely sell. So, no, go away. So basically, uh, yeah, that's not a coin people want. No one's going to pay $20, $19 for that. Uh, some people just uh, like to fool other people into thinking that they have something in which they don't. Anyway, I hope this helps you with your coin collecting. Just remember, key date, pretty common term that's actually used. Actually, what I can do is I will look up key date. We'll see what turns up. Key date coin. Okay. Yeah, common. Low mintage. Well, compared to five cent coins, yeah, low mintage. Yeah. Key date. Yeah, probably. 42. 72. Low mintage, key date. Yeah, some of these are okay. 942 is not, not a key date. Maybe we can look at. What the hell? Low mintage, key date, scarce. Yeah, that's a low mintage. Uh, let's have a look at European coins. Mm -hmm. Nah, look like a lot of them are just... A lot of his coins are there. Yeah, a lot of these coins seem to be quite common. Uh, these are all from the same seller. Let's see if we can find... Someone else? Nah. These all seem to be pretty common, but I need to research it and see. Vatican City is usually low mint, but the population is pretty small. That might be a key date. I need to look up the actual mintages on the new stuff. Okay. Just remember, before you buy, look up what you're actually buying. Thank you. And... Have an awesome coin and banknote collecting time. Thank you and goodbye.